What is up guys, Faded here and welcome back to the channel for another video and today we have a quick review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Y900. The Y900 was first announced many months ago and it's had an expected release date of early June 2016. But after many delays, the laptop is finally here but is it late to the party? While the entire chassis has been redesigned with a much more appealing body, they've released this laptop with it already having a much better and up-to-date version set to come out quite soon which is the Y910. The Y900 is packing a GTX 980M, which is still a high-performance GPU, and it's even running 8GB of VRAM. However, the Y910 blows it away with a 1070. The rest of the specs are about where they need to be, including an i7-6820HK, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, it even includes a 128GB SSD. However, Lenovo is still pushing their 1TB 5400 RPM storage drives, which is quite upsetting when you are bound to fill up your 100GB of usable space on your SSD, being forced to use your 5400 RPM to run your games and things like that, which makes for longer wait times in loading into games and things like that. Now, Lenovo has added a bunch of features to their Y series gaming laptops, including a mechanical keyboard with customizable back backlighting options. They've even added macro programmable keys and even a turbo switch which only works when you're plugged in of course but overclocks both the CPU and the GPU. However I did notice when playing high performance games the turbo button did turn on by itself without the switch and I couldn't even disable it which does make all of this feel a bit gimmicky. With all these added features they've added a lot of weight. This thing will not be fun to lug around in a backpack and I don't recommend it for any kind of college laptop or anything in the workplace. I can't imagine taking this thing anywhere with how heavy it is, coming in at about 7 kilograms or 15 pounds. This thing is a brick. And speaking of brick, the power adapter is another thing to lug around. Not to mention how it will randomly ramp up on the fans even when in power save mode, so it's definitely not a quiet PC. So let's get to the important side of things, performance. I have many benchmark videos up on YouTube which you can check out in the description below. This thing handles everyday tasks with ease and even most games run quite well, but I expected a bit more performance in time spy. GPU performance hung in there and even stayed quite cool, however, even with the fans at full speed, at least one core on the CPU was reaching around 93 degrees Celsius, which is a bit too close for comfort for me and I did see some occasional throttling. This could be a deal breaker for many or maybe my model was defective. Now my version did come with a 75Hz IPS panel which does give you a little boost over 60fps, but as for color accuracy, they went with an anti-glare coating which again makes things seem washed out. Blacks don't seem very black at all, however no noticeable light bleed which is common in these models. So overall you get some beast of performance in a laptop with all the bells and whistles of a popular gaming laptop, but it already feels out of date with a price tag of $2500. I don't feel like that is justified. Thermal throttling is a huge issue to me. Throttling in the first month usually means there's a design flaw or a defect. So with all of that said, let's get to the final conclusion. Lenovo brings to the table a much different experience from their previous Y series game gaming laptops by adding all of these features that many gamers have requested over the years, but I don't think that the Y900 is a good place to start. The Y910 is just around the corner and offers a lot more performance and is likely going to be very similar in cost. So overall, I feel like this laptop does not live up to its price tag. If we can get over the thermal throttling, I think most people would enjoy their experience with this laptop, no doubt, but for me, it is certainly late to the party at this price point. I would start my search for a gaming laptop around the Y910. Y910 and give the Y900 a pass for now, unless they drop the price and or figure out the thermal issue. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, be sure to check out the gameplay videos in the description below, and I will see you in the next video, and you guys have a good one.